With a murder just reported at the local high school, the two agents were on the case. As they came across the body, the first thing they noticed was that the keys were missing. Not long after, they found a wallet which contained many leads on the situation. After discussing the many pieces of evidence they had found, the agents decided it would be best to go check the suspect's car. When they came across the suspect's car, they found that the door was open. And also, there was a mysterious wallet on the center console. After roaming around the high school, the agents thought they had came across the man they were looking for. But after a short interview with a couple questions, they realized this was not the man they were looking for. At this point, the agents both decide to split and go their own ways on discovering new pieces of evidence on the case. The agents regrouped and decided to go investigate the body a little more. But when they arrived, the body was nowhere to be found. Feeling very confused, the agents decided to call in for some help. But while one agent was on the phone, the other agent was partaking in some mysterious activity. With the investigators on their way, the agents decided to look some deeper into the situation. After a matching footprint was found, one agent accused the other agent of being the murderer. After being crossed on his own path, the accused agent only had one option. The agent couldn't believe that he had been working with a murderer this whole time. He asked him a few questions, but first, he gave him what he really deserved. The murderer then gave his reasoning behind his betrayal. In the locker room, he heard his friend talking about how he was going to steal his prom date. Frustrated and angered, he only had one choice. Many believed that Miss Yates would be a great prom date, but he believed that Miss Yates would be a prom date worth killing for. <laughs>